Hello everyone, today we're going to install Creed's ROM version 5. Now as you may know, this ROM is not officially released for the Samsung Galaxy Y. It was made specially for Galaxy Fit, but it is ported. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to install it and we're going to have a quick look at what it contains and what kind of features it has. So as usual, the first step is to download Cockroach Mode Recovery into your Galaxy Y and flash the zip file through recovery mode. So let's begin by powering off the phone and also I forgot to mention that of course you do need to have the Creed ROM zip file on your SD card. So anyways power off the phone and we're gonna boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up. Hold them out together. For users with custom kernels, you may have already Cocoa Mod Recovery integrated. If you do not, you can download the zip file and you can flush it manually. In my case, I already have it, so there is no need. I'm pretty sure you should be familiar with how to flush the Cocoa Mod Recovery. Basically, you just install a zip file from the stock recovery. Now, before everything, let's just make sure the system is mounted. And we'll begin by wiping data. Just to be clean, to get rid of everything old. Then we're gonna wipe the cache. Now choose to wipe cache partition. And it is done. Now simply go to install zip from SD card. Select choose zip from SD card. And locate the Creed's ROM version 5 zip file. Version 4, sorry. Here it is, Creed version 4 build 2, select it, and now choose yes when asked, and it will begin installing, now I'll be back once I reboot the phone, and ok, installs it from SD card complete, all you do now is go back, and you choose the first option, reboot system now, so the phone will begin booting up, as usual, the first boot may take a while, so just be patient, just wait for the installation, for the booting to become, uh, I mean, just wait for the phone to start up. I'll speed up the video to not waste any time. And okay, the media scanner took ages, but it's finally done scanning. So this is the home screen, this is the voucher which we have. The Google search widget as you can see is different from what you may see on the stock ROM. It, I believe this was the old widget, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this is the voucher. Seems like a more touch with voucher. And uh, let's have a look at the notification screen. Here we have the Lidroid toggles, all of them as you can see as well as a brightness shortcut in here on the, right under it and a settings shortcut the brightness is working we can change this as you can see that's good let's have a quick look at the settings so this is what we got here they are separated uh, very well organized as you can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, more seems to have the uh, more advanced touch with look by looking at the icons in here, cow settings, display, shortcut and so on and on let's have a look at what we have here in about phone so uh, I'm not sure if this comes with a custom kit I haven't checked but I still seem to have my old one Hellwalk 50 but yeah build number Creed version 4 let's have a look at location and security let's see what we have here nothing modified here from the looks of it and here we have the same old Creed parts which gives us uh, a chance to change the walk screen style to whatever we want let's just have a quick look how it functions it should be working of course there we go okay and down here we have the status bar mods changing the clock position, the color, the battery, percentage showing and stuff such as that as well as the CPU frequency which starts up the set CPU, uh, sorry, the no CPU app from the looks of it 
so you can change to whatever governance you want and so on and on you should be familiar with this this time there doesn't seem to be any CPU spy app though I can't seem to find it in here in the settings all you can do is change the frequencies and okay so that is all for the features which we see here oh it also has super SU as well as Quokor mode manager the ROM manager I believe let's just give it root access and have a look at this yep CWM manager if you want to do some stuff let's have a look at the file manager and see if it is changed the same old file manager the dialog should definitely be changed there we go there we have it and let's have a look at the contacts screen it also seems modified as you can see let's have a look at the SMS here let's see what keyboard we have okay as you can see here it has it gives us word recommendations this is what I've seen in all of Creed's ROMs so that's a good feature he always has this added in there okay that's for the keyboard let's have a look at the gallery if it is revamped the same old gallery as you can see here let's see the browser slightly modified look the loading line here is blue and uh, this looks a bit changed here the address bar also this has DSP manager as you can see in here um, the task manager is also changed when you won't press the home button as you can see this is what we get these are the recently opened apps and from here we access the task manager also this has a creates toolbox which has a shortcut in here here it is which has again a lot of features that I cannot really show into detail much so you're gonna have to check them out for yourself but let's just have a quick look at some of them we have power saving you can enable to use power saving mode there we go you can also disable it let's have a look at settings here APK search folder screen capture shake sensor some kind of gestures I guess not really sure having checked personal info backup auto pen mode samsung secret code a list of the secret codes and so on and on and yeah this rom also has many more features which uh, of course won't be probably visible in this video but it seems like a good rom so if you like it you can download it from the link in the video description and you can install it using the instructions in this video this was a quick installation and quick review video of Creed's ROM version 5 custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Y. Thank you for watching everyone and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Goodbye.